Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin for Code with Mike Friday, and it's December 5th, 2014, and I'm opening up this video with a little view of one of my creation of ages past called Hittail. Now, Hittail is a writing suggestion tool that's mostly based around just issuing suggestions. I cleared out all my suggestions recently, so we'd have to go into my to-do list for you to actually see the kinds of keywords that are grabbed. But I like looking at the search hits button and everyone says, oh, Google has removed the referrer variable. You can't see keywords that lead to your site anymore. Well, this used to be a whole river of black keywords running down here and, uh, you know, usually all from today. So you can see since uh, 4.30 a.m. this morning, there's only been a handful of hits on my personal site. MikeLev.in. It's my exact name with a dot before the IN. And you can see uh, QEMU Mac without homebrew, the benefits of Python, uh, duplicate SD card Linux, Google value proposition. And I could step on through this and see tons of anecdotal, you know, uh, things that have been that have led to my site. Uh, I can click on any one of these. Here's a Bing one and it will reproduce the search for me so I can see, you know, what someone typed in, uh, you know, where it was in search results, and uh, here you can see it's on page one. If you type Python strengths into Bing, I can reproduce that. Close that tab, open a new one. Bing.com, Python strengths. There I am, same result. I can, uh, whoops, I can test that in Google. Same thing, and see where I come up. Hey, I'm in the very first position. Now that's with me logged in as me, so that might be predisposed. So I can do Control Shift N for a uh, anonymous uh, incognito window. Paste that same thing in, and I'm in position two when anonymous. I can go to Search Tools, change myself from New York to say San Diego. And uh, see if I come up again in that same position. Yep. Make sure I'm still in that new location. Yeah, it took it correctly. So that's a way I can quickly check how I'm doing, at least around the country. I could probably check around the world. But Hittail is still a wonderful tool, and I highly suggest uh, people use it. Um, but that is just one of the types of functionality I'll be striving to sort of reproduce with the uh, new platform I'm working on, which is the combination of Levinix and Pipulate, some of my other projects from ages past. And so I figured I'd start out with a blank screen here and open a command line. And uh, let's see. Well, actually, instead of doing it the command line way, I'll do it in a way that's really accessible to a lot of people. I'll go to GitHub, and in GitHub, I will go to my Levinix project, and I'll just hit download zip, and it will start the download. And so there you see it on my desktop. I double click it, and this is more or less the Mac experience. Uh, that you'll see with Levinix. It's, it'll vary slightly with uh, PCs. You'll see uh, this come up with a fancy icon instead of this one. But on a Mac, you just double click it. It'll tell you it can't be open, so then you just right click it and you select open, and that'll give you a chance to say open anyway. And then QEMU will pop up in the uh, version, the fourth version of QEMU from ages and ages ago called Q, but it's perfectly capable of hosting um, a tiny version of Linux, which you see booting now called Tiny Core Linux. And I could talk forever about this, but basically it's just going to build a quick little uh, Linux server here, and when it's done, bam, you're running a little Linux server. I go back to my web browser, and now I can go to localhost 8080, 
and you will see documentation actually being served here uh, right from that tiny little server. And that sets the stage for the series of videos I'll be doing today, which instead of hosting just this documentation, I'll actually be hosting the uh, Pipulate uh, free and open source uh, tool for SEO and social media tracking that I've been working on on all these past videos. And uh, just to sort of give you a before and after to show you that this really actually is being hosted there. I'll do a few refreshes. I'll go over here and then I'll choose three for shutdown and you'll see Levinix go away. Voila, it's gone. And now I do a refresh website not there. So you get the idea. Uh, this is a little web server you run on your desktop to make using my tools much easier. There will be no hosting cost for me, so I can offer it to an unlimited number of people at no uh, increasing expense to myself as it gets popular. And you can use it in total, total private because I have no idea what's going on with you on your own server. So this can be molded and shaped uh, infinite different ways to suit everyone's needs. And Levinix slash Pipulate is built to be customized, so I plan on making it actually downloadable and useful today with a video I just wrote for Flying Point Digital's website. And uh, definitely, this is the time to subscribe, to follow this project, and to uh, jump on the bandwagon. So thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.